God bless you. I want to comfort you with the following words. I want to read a few scripture to you today that I believe is going to impact your life for the better. It comes out of the book of Romans chapter 4. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were, who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Now pay close attention. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, and neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. And he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the distinctive keys to Abraham's success is that he was very careful what he gave consideration to. And I want to comfort you with these words. You need to govern what you give consideration to. And when you govern it, and by govern it, I mean you have to be very careful what you allow your attention to be applied to. Your attention is a valuable commodity in the kingdom of heaven. But it's also a valuable commodity in, for the kingdom of darkness. In other words, Abraham believed that what God spoke to him would surely come to pass to fortify himself against any other opinion. He was very careful about what he gave consideration to. And too often, many believers give more consideration to what's against them than what's for them. Ladies and gentlemen, the greater one resides, lives, and works through the believer. So you must be very careful what you give consideration to, what you give your attention to, what you give your focus to. So as I conclude this word of comfort, I want you to consider the following that God is greater than any challenge you will ever face in life, that God chose you, you did not choose him, that God's intent is that the will of heaven concerning you would come to pass in the earth. Your natural physical birth and subsequent rebirth is proof that you are a part of God's agenda. And by allowing you to be both born and reborn through Jesus Christ, it proves that God believes you are vital to the success of his agenda. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to comfort you with these words. Be very careful to what you give consideration to. Don't consider the things that oppose you. Don't give consideration to the things that are contrary to what you're believing for. Give all your consideration to what God has said to you. Give consideration, your complete allegiance to his word and his word only. And ladies and gentlemen, the same God that performed his word for Abraham is the same God that will perform his word concerning you. God bless you and be comforted with this word.